welcome again so in previous tutorial we have seen how to create a component and I have a correction so this is the tutorial that I have given on component and save user IP in login time and after giving this tutorial I got a comment I got a comment from Andy Jensen and he mentioned that uh, table registry has deprecated so I am I have seen this documentation for point on migration guide and in here you can see the ORM section that CAC PHP ORM table registry has been deprecated and they mentioned that we should use that locatory web trait. So thank you Andy for mentioning it and you can see that Andy also given a nice example in here. So this is the example. So he used this uh, locatory web trait class in here and use it in here and then get the uh, table in here using the cat method. I recommend use this uh, source code and uh, replace the old source code by this source code. So thank you, Andre, for this uh, uh, for this status. So let's go in here. So today we will change this background only for this template for this single template. So I'm just going a simple CSS add a simple CSS in my web root directory. So this is the web root directory. I'm just going to add a CSS called my.css. After that, I'm just adding here the body. And here to give the background color. And even the red. So I just want to apply this red background only for my user's index space. So this is the user index space. So let's go in user index space. That means users, templates, users, and index.php. And just going to add a code, and this is the code, this HTML helper class, and this is the CSS method. And I have just added the my CSS, that means the CSS file that I have created called my, and I've just added the block true. So after save this, if we go and reload our page, we will see this background has been changed. But if you go in view, we will see that it has not changed. So if you go in edit, it also not changed. But only list user has changed. So we can apply the same thing for a script. We can change this CSS to a script and then add your script in here. So it will also work. So now question that to how it has worked. Because we have added in default.layout default.php is the layer, default layout that we are using. We have added this like two line that is fetch CSS and fetch script. So if you go and see the source code in here, I'm just typing control U in Windows. So you can see this head section. And in this head section, this is the CSS that has added. So this happened because we have added this fetch CSS in here. And same thing, you can see the script tag in here, script, uh, fetch script in here. So if you want to apply your JS file, for example, you added a JS file in your index.php, only for index.php, and you want to apply it um, before the body tag. So in this scenario, you can just replace it from here to here. Then you'll see your script tag in here. So this is the tutorial tutorial how we can add a single CSS or is how we can add CSS, special CSS and script for a single view file. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.